capitalism as we know it is dead. Let us not fool ourselves. There can be no social justice without tax justice. It is time to level the playing field and to think about how we properly deploy taxes in a way that catalyzes sustainable markets. Fair taxes, green taxes, and the death of capitalism. Hi, I'm Bhuvan Bam. This is the day two of Davos. Sorry. Sorry. Let us not fool ourselves. There can be no social justice without tax justice. But I believe that the time has come to go one step further. It is not enough to redistribute income through taxes. We must advance towards redistribution. And it was a different kind of tax that Britain's Prince Charles wanted to speak about when he was on the stage. It is time to level the playing field and to think about how we properly deploy taxes, policies and regulation in a way that catalyzes uh, sustainable markets. Everything I've tried to do and urge over the past 50 years has been done with our children and grandchildren in mind. Because I did not want to be accused by them of doing nothing. If we look at the long-term situation, we should fight climate change, we should do more, we should do it faster. Actually, Finland is committed to be climate neutral by 2035, and we are committed, our government, to tackle climate change now. Capitalism, as we know it, is dead. The, this obsession uh, that we have had with maximizing profits for shareholders alone has led to incredible inequality and a planetary emergency. One of the highlights of the day two for me was hearing from the CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, about the future of tech. It will allow us to understand the world in a deeper way. We can simulate nature better. So that means simulating molecular structures. So maybe we can discover better drugs. Understanding climate in a deeper way so that we can predict weather patterns and tackle climate change. We can design better batteries. It's clear from what we are seeing here in Davos, the climate change is real and we can't ignore it any longer. It's up to the companies, the countries and the people to come together and act accordingly. And those are just some of the key moments from day two. But check out the forum's website for all the live panels and the weekly updates and the big headlines here from Davos. <laughs>